And Love in road games is averaging 23 points per game in league play. That leads the conference. Larson's jumper is good to start the game. So. Here's Johnson up top for three, and it's good. 5 nothing start for the Wildcats. Andrews, pull-up jumper, and UCLA on the board. It took nearly three minutes. Entry pass, Ballo catching it deep and scoring against Adembona. He's made 64% of his shots. Again, a lot of those have been right at the rim. Bona trying to return the favor, goes to the left hand and scores. Bona going to drive here against Ballo and throw it down. Throw it down, big fella. Throw it down. Mutual insurance only pay for what you need. And Arby's. Arby's, we have the meats. Well, I think what's just key is just to keep them out west. That's all you want if you're in Arizona, if you're a UCLA team. You understand that you might be in different places. UCLA knocks down another jumper. Arizona in the first round. Obviously, UCLA, unless it wins the Pac-12 tournament, is not going dancing. They're a game under 500. The three goes for K.J. Lewis, and then he has something to say to the UCLA bench. Arizona in front. Andrews around the Morris screen. Andrews going to take the three and hit it. That ties the game at the 11. In a barn burner. But UCLA knocking down three. Caleb Love with the ball still has not scored for Arizona. Nice finish by Lewis. He's got five points off the bench. No, and he's been aggressive defensively, offensively, we know. And in talking with Mick Cronin and some of the Arizona folks as well, as McLennan's three is off the mark, Bona got the stick back to tie it at 15 in my opinion anyway, long before UCLA and USC, as Boswell's three is good, made the decision to go to the Big Ten. That don't have the same amenities as football or basketball. That travel becomes far more aggressive. And the last thing I'll say is that it would be even more worrisome if it wasn't for NIL. Now these players are able to make some money. And how can the school maximize their dollars? Boswell's three no good. Long rebound though, Bradley. Bradley hangs and finishes off the window. The bench for Arizona has been a difference maker this year. Each team will play one more Pac-12 game this weekend. UCLA home against Arizona State. Arizona at USC as Bona blocks Lewis. Johnson almost traveled. Boswell from deep. It's good. And a timeout by Mick Cronin sensing that Boswell off to penetration from Johnson, taking his time, going to work. He's got the big dance and knocking down that big three. You mentioned it. When he shoots the ball well, Arizona is a very, very different team, and he has been playing. Trying to get one step closer to winning a Pac-12 regular season title. They can do that tonight with a win and a Washington State loss. Andrews puts it in. Washington. State has a one-point lead, by the way, over Washington early in the second half that game in Pullman. Yeah, if you're Boswell, you can't throw that pass to the big in transition in the here. Here's Love on the other end. And a quiet night, just 0 for 2, but there it goes. Count it. And a foul. Three-point chance here for Love. But this is the first time that he's really had a good look to be aggressive. Does a good job getting the and one. He was a four-year player and still was able to have an impact. People get so caught up in being one and done. Bona gets to the rim and puts it in. And it feels like, Richard, that there are a lot of teams in the NBA value those players that have a lot of college experience, played in big games. Nice reverse and finish from Keyshaw Johnson. Well, they're more ready to play. And spending a bunch of time with Bill during the summer, I said I would never make it to the NBA if I just lived with Walton, so I lived with Josh Pastner. The rest is history. It's Caleb Love knocks down a three. It's all his fault. Like, you had nothing to do with oh, your it was behavior at all. My behavior <laughs> was the problem. <laughs> That's why Bill had kicked us out of his house multiple times. It's not been in foul trouble in this game, but that has been an issue for him so far in his career, just being available. Larson to the rim, lays it home. Andrews, the lob broken up by Crevis. Arizona with a three on one. Here's Love, takes it all the way and scores easily. UCLA could not get out and run. Again, credit Arizona's defense for that. Yeah. 
Love tripped, but still got the ball down low to Ballo. Blocked by Bona. Adem Bona with three blocks and two steals in this game. You see the play here, helping out on Caleb Love and then getting back into the play, defending without fouling, which has been an issue for him. For the best rivalry, certainly in the West and in all of college basketball. Bala with the slam, Larson the pass, and a UCLA foul. So a three-point opportunity here for Umar Bala. You weren't even born yet. Yeah, but I've, you know, I studied the history books. Stefanovic hangs and finishes. Great play by Stefanovic. And a foul in Arizona, so a three-point opportunity here for the Bruins. And this is, to me, when you're struggling with field goals, yeah, you, you need three points. You feel like you're bringing up a lot of negative stats for Arizona here. Well, time spent viewing, you have a lot of different uh, you know, listeners checking in, so you got to remind him of the key storylines. As Bona gets his fourth block. Anybody that he reminds you of? When you watch this game, well, it's tough because is acting like he got hit in the throat, but it also looked like Balo maybe pulled, or excuse me, uh, Bona maybe pulled Balo down with him as Caleb Love pushes that one home, and the lead is back to 17. They rule it was on the way up. Boswell misses, gets it back as somehow the ball went through Bona's hands. Larson pays it off, switching home a three. Keyshot Johnson has controlled the defensive glass for Arizona. Another block. And a stay with the Wildcats who have their largest lead of the game. And then somebody gets an open three because you're not matched up on the offensive rebound. And especially when you're a young team as Love hits a three. So if Washington State loses and Arizona wins, the Wildcats would clinch. Good hands by Lewis getting the strip of Buchton Joe. Down court follow, throws it down on two Bruins. As of now, because many have had a sneak peek at that T-shirt, as of now, that's the only one, but there, there's going to be more. We're going to get some more so out So they for, call it yeah. TikTok shop. You can put that on your shop oh, on TikTok. I don't have those, but I'll let you do that as uh, Larson scores. A Mick Cronin coach team since he lost 16 games back in 2010. Early on in his tenure at Cincinnati, Stefanovic hits the three from the corner. An opportunity for two great storied programs to to go toe-to-toe -to -toe for the conference title. I think next time you, you fill in and you do one of these, you really need to cut loose. You're just way too shy. Does that loss against an unranked Washington team, does that hurt Arizona's chances of getting back on the one line? Nice up and under move by Bradley. Again, Joe Lenardi's latest bracketology is Tennessee on the one line. So obviously you would have to think it goes beyond 97, but that's all that we have for it. Stefanovic is three around and down. Just the third made three for the Bruins. Watching and breaking down film because he's trying to prepare for what's ahead when UCLA joins the conference next year. Three for Bradley. This is a school that has been to the tournament, that has you know, been number one seeds. You have to figure out a way to have some success in the tournament. They haven't been to a Final Four since I was in college in 2001. And like you said, if he can improve his three-point shooting, he's only around 30%. And if he comes back next year, you know, has a chance to be a really good player in the Big Ten. Stavanovic drills a three. It's Think again, because they're, the, the UCLA student section has been staring. They've been staring you down throughout the night. Oh, I'm heading out on the Arizona team. <laughs> <laughs> Basket for V-Day and a foul. On the East Coast, people don't appreciate, but certainly in the West, and it's fierce. Arizona hates UCLA. V-Day in transition, tried to give it up. Nice hands by Johnson getting the steal. Now, Tracy Murray does the... Uh, Analysis for UCLA radio is Boswell gets the basket and the foul. Depending on who you get in the first round and what seed you are, maybe. As V-Day gets it to fall. No, and that's the best thing about the NCAA tournament. Those are the people that go to the Final Fours and win national championships. Boswell giving it up. Crevis. Nice cut that time. Crevis with a good pass, too, as Bradley gets the basket. So you just have to pick your spots a little bit more selectively with your off-ball movement. Another great cut by Lewis, gets the lay-in, no-look dish by Jaden Bradley. It's almost like these boys could hear me. Arizona will go to 24-6, and 15-4, win the Pac-12 regular season title outright, but obviously still a ton to play for at USC on Saturday. V-Day, nice drive and finish. Everybody's had success well, it, at Arizona. It, I would be, it speaks to the culture of the entire program. When you see players coming back and supporting it was close early on, but at the jump ball. No, it was tied at 17. Settle down, Mr. Wildcat. 
get looks at threes. Morauskas missed it. And it pinballs right to Lewis, who lays it in. And rebounded by Lewis. Meanwhile, UCLA will drop to 9 and 10 in conference play. Lewis drills a three. Everybody getting involved. 18 off the bench for Lewis. So both Lewis and Bradley in double figures as reserves tonight. Let's win the Pac-12 regular season. Let's win the tournament. And let's try and get to a Final Four and see what happens. Morauskas with a jumper. I mean, you're likely to run into a bad matchup. And a lot of Bruin fans are <laughs> glad that this will be your last broadcast of Arizona UCLA. <laughs> yes, it will be. Yes, it will be.